Google Apps Script can be tricky at first. Um, it being in JavaScript, the functions and methods of Apps Script being somewhat cumbersome. It took me a while to get to the hang of it. Using alerts is helpful. It was helpful for me. It is helpful uh, for things that I write for myself, for code or in uh, different projects and programs that I design. It's also helpful to have for other people to kind of clue them in on to how something's supposed to run or to have something pop up on the spreadsheet itself when there's an error or in the document. This works either way. If code worries you or if you're a pro, I think this is for you. Um, I started with App Script about four years ago, um, and I've done a I've done a lot with it. I teach middle school computer science, so this will be approachable for all. And everything I code is posted in the description below. Feel free to take a look at it to use it, so on and so forth. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, tools, script editor. And that's where you always need to go for app script tools, script editor. We're going to write, well, a bit of a macro, you can call it. And project name, let's just say alerts. Creative, my strong suit. OK. So first, we're going to want saving project alerts. Um, first, we're going to want a way to trigger that alert or for that alert to come up. So what I'm going to do for that, um, what I find best is just to do a simple menu. I'm not sure if this is large enough. Let me increase, zoom in. Just want to make sure uh, it's very visible. All right. So for that menu, I'm going to do my standard stuff up here at the top. Yeah, Kurt Kaiser, if I can spell it, that's me. Um, my site. Go check it out, kurtkaiser.us. I know, .us, but it's what I got. And then, uh, well, kind of that standard stuff. But again, feel free to use this. All right, so first, we're going to need a menu. And what I mean by menu is we're going to have a little pop-up thing that you can click on and use. So to do that, we're going to start with this my function stuff. That is fine, but I'm going to change it up. Let's have our function be on open is what we're going to go ahead and call it. And then we're going to use whoop, var. I have a bit of a cheat sheet. Let's see a cheat sheet var equals a spread sheet app. dot get UI boom 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 so what this is gonna do is this is spreadsheet Ooh, no space what this is gonna do is it's just starting off UI stands for user interface okay um, and then we're gonna do let's go ahead uh, UI because we created a variable called UI create menu and then in this menu uh, I'm just going to call this oh, email. No, alert system. And that's going to be the title of our menu. And again, VAR means variable. So that means UI now equals spreadsheet.getUI. So UI now equals our spreadsheet app. UI create menu. We're creating a menu on the user interface. And we're going to go ahead and add item. And let's say alert me ah, comma and then we need to put a function here which we don't have yet but i'm gonna go ahead and write show alert which is gonna be the name of our function that we're about to create and padha i think show alert that will be plenty for now we should go ahead and oh and include the end of this dot add to UI. Yes, boom, boom, boom. I'm going to hit save. Okay, so there's no alert yet. And of course, I messed something up. Ah, ah, don't do that. You need to have 
this in quotes. Let's try again. You also don't want a semicolon here. My goodness. There we are. All right. And then let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Mm, oh, it's not loading. Why? We can hit reload, but then that's going to refresh this and I'll have to go back into it. So I'm going to hit debug, which is just going to run and check for bugs on my on open function. And hopefully, ta-da, we now have alert system. If I click this, it will, I think it will give us an error because, yep, there we are. Yeah, show alert doesn't exist. So now what we're going to do is make that function. So let's double check. App script show. Okay. So this is handy. They have the, all of this posted for us. UI, get UI. We did that already, actually. Prompt. We're not going to do a prompt. We were going to do an alert. Spreadsheet alert. Well, that is simple enough. Get UI alert. So I'm going to just copy this over. And let's go back over here. My function, function, show, alert. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right. And then, so I'm going to get the UI again because I did it up here. If you only want to do this once, and I only want to do this once, I'm going to go cut, paste it. All right. So now it's accessible. It is accessible by all. And get UI. Oh, and so now I can just say UI. UI alert. I am alerting you. Boom. Huh? Huh? All right. And then we're going to hit save. So there is this debug option. If you do this, it should launch up. Well, we'll find out. UI is not a function. Oh, no, it is not. But up. And that's one of the great things why debug exists. Let's try again. So if I go here, is it going to be there? Ah, OK. I think we have to be on page. So let's go ahead and do alert me. Ta-da! I am alerting you. How handy. <laughs> Uh, next up, I will, um, if you're looking for prompts as well, how to get information from the user other than just cluing them into something, uh, I will have a video on that that is posted. So definitely check that out. Hit like, hit subscribe. Hopefully this was helpful. Steal my code below if you want it.